It must be a hard life being a commuter, crammed on like cattle, standing like sardines in standard class. That's why sometimes you just want to kick back, take the weight off your feet and relax. Well, this is just the kind of treatment Sir Nicholas Winterton's become accustomed to travelling to and from Westminster over the years. But he may well have to leave this uh, glamorous lifestyle behind him. Following the expenses row, Parliament has tightened up rules on what MPs can spend their money on and what they can claim. That includes train travel, so sadly for Sir Nicholas, it means he's banned from the buffet car and relegated to regular class. What you see is what you get, really. You get seats, <laughs> you get a little flip-down table, you know what I mean? What more do you want? You've got lights, you know what I mean? If you get in the dark, you've got a curtain, you know what I mean? Well, that's what he's making out, isn't he? He thinks he's better than us, but then again, people like him. I don't know, you all, they've always had that standard, haven't they? So we've accepted it as a society. It's hardly slumming it, though, is it? You know what I mean? There's worse people in worse scenarios, you know? Just have to get used to it, won't he? The news hasn't gone down well with the veteran Conservative MP, who says he's infuriated and is worried he may now even have to stand if there are no seats. Well, I think he's a little out of touch with, with common feeling in terms of expenses when it comes to em members of parliament. Um, clearly, sometimes there would be a need, I, I expect, for him to travel first class, but other times there's a clear need for him to keep his costs under control. Well, I wish I could travel first class all the time, thank you very much, but uh, a friend of mine made a very good comment about, all right, let them have an allowance for second class, and if they wish to travel first class, then they pay for it, like the rest of us do. The Tories are now distancing themselves from the comments. A party spokesman told us these comments today are the out-of-touch views of a soon-to-retire backbench MP. They do not in any way represent the views of David Cameron or that of the Conservative Party. Sir Nicholas says he's now looking forward to stepping down as an MP at the next election. But then maybe he'll miss the perks of the job when he has to pay his own rail fare. Michael Billington, Channel M Today.